Bungie recently finally got around to buffing the Forensic Nightmare, what I believe is one of the coolest looking SMGs in the game, which arrived to Destiny 2 in the Witch Queen DLC as our first craftable SMG ever in the game. I remember wanting to love it back then, but in the kinetic slot, there was just no possible way that it was going to get any usage over the multi mock, which could outrange it as a 900 RPM. And if you wanted to run an SMG, many folks were maining Shira's Wrath at the time due to its ability to reach ranges of 26 meters before experiencing damage drop off. The Forensic Nightmare having a zoom value of 13 and only hitting about 20 meters of range basically made it go from conception to birth to straight in the grave in no time flat. Late last year, when some archetypes got buffed, Forensic was overlooked, and many posts on Reddit began to surface from people asking Bungie to take another look at this SMG. And finally, it happened recently as Bungie brought the zoom value on the Forensic Nightmare up to 14. Now note that Shire's Wrath, that zoom remains at 15 and maintains the ability to take adept mods despite being in the same archetype of SMG as Forensic Nightmare. But nonetheless, many people saw this buff in the TWAB and wondered if this would make Forensic Nightmare worth a second look. So I decided to take it for another spin and give it a fair shake in this SMG heavy meta that we're in and let you know what to expect. Hopefully we'll save you some time. Let's dive in. The first thing worth bringing up, I think, when we're talking about the Forensic Nightmare is the nature of the archetype itself. Precision frames, right? Shira's Wrath is an absolute outlier in this subfamily. Precision frame SMGs are not overly popular and haven't been for a long time. The basic characteristics of these SMGs is that they're known for having excellent range at the cost of having low aim assist and a longer TTK than any other SMG subtype. Forensic Nightmare had all of the drawbacks without the benefit of having good range. With the zoom value being trash at 13 and not having accurized rounds or rangefinder in its perk slots, this was basically a death sentence. So for a precision frame SMG to be relevant, it needs to stand out in some fashion in a big way. And we know Shaira has done that with its frankly ridiculous range and adept mod compatibility and access to things like dynamic sway and tap the trigger, killing wind and kill clip, etc. Forensic never had something like that that made it stand out. The range buff is a great start to making this thing relevant, but the zoom value was only brought up to 14 while Shaira still gets that 15. So it's better, but it's not quite good enough to stand out in that capacity yet. But let's move on to the perk pool. I'll show you my current crafted roll, but I also fooled around with Hammer Forge for the Barrel and a Range Masterwork to bring the range value up to a base 75, and you'll see some gameplay with both that roll and this one in the gameplay in the background. When it comes to barrels, I think Hammer Forged and Small Bore are your best bets. In the second column for your mag, uh, Ricochet Rounds is the obvious pick here, but we're clearly lacking Accurized Rounds, which is a big blow to the Forensic Nightmare as it's already fighting an uphill battle against its own range limitations. Luckily, it does have one main perk in the next column that can help with that. In this column, we've got Grave Robber, Under Pressure, Heating Up, Encore, Perpetual Motion, and Slideways. For PvP, I think Encore is the best pick hands down. This is going to give you more range and more stability after each kill for 7 seconds, 7.5 if you have the enhanced perk. Truth be told, 7.5 seconds is pretty generous. You can really take advantage of Encore a lot in a match. I'll slow down some of these duels, but you're going to see me take some duels from downtown and just laser people straight to the dome. When you get Encore rolling, this SMG can do some pretty impressive stuff, and it feels really good. In the final column, you've got Sympathetic Arsenal, Thresh, Swashbuckler, Headstone, Harmony, and Kill Clip. To synergize with Encore, I think you gotta go with Kill Clip. That will pump your damage up to 30 per headshot, making this a 7 bullet kill. That's gonna help edge out your competition a bit more consistently when you've got the weapon up and running. Unfortunately, the origin trait Psycho Hack is almost never going to do you any good in PvP. It is possible, and it, I have benefited from it before, but the chances are very slim. So now that we've laid all the cards out on the table regarding the Forensic Nightmare, we gotta give it a score of some kind, right? Is this thing relevant now that it's been buffed? Can it hang with some of the other SMGs out there right now, like the Ikelos and the Terabah and the Shire's Wrath? I'm gonna give it to you straight, no it cannot. 
There's some good things going on with the Forensic Nightmare, no doubt. Maybe it's a 6 out of 10. You know, it's not a terrible gun anymore. I had fun putting a few hundred kills on it after the buff and had some fun kill streaks just keeping Encore and Kill Clip rolling. When that's happening, it is rewarding to use it. It is fun. But the truth is this, the SMGs on top right now are on top by a country mile. A small buff on this SMG was the equivalent of shaving maybe a couple of seconds off those other SMGs two lap lead on Forensic. It's cool that it got better, but it would need to receive a dramatic buff to be able to close that gap. Ikelos is on a whole different level in terms of raw dueling potential. Shaira does everything that Forensic does with range and damage perks after a kill, except it does them better. Teraba has like no weaknesses right now, and it laughs at most legendary SMGs and takes their lunch money. So should you go out of your way to use this SMG, to craft it, to dump resources into it? I mean, that's really up to you. Some people use weapons because they like the look of them, the sound of them, the design of them, or because for some inexplicable reason, it just feels good to them with no way of really quantifying or qualifying that feeling. And if that's the case, hey, congratulations, your gun just got better. But if you're looking to invest some resources into an SMG to really try to win some duels consistently in the Crucible, I say keep looking. I hope this saved you some time and energy to find out for yourself. Thanks as always for watching the video. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for additional Destiny 2 content. Be warm and well fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible. Like a two for one.